Uh, okay, so this is uh, our uh, button animation preview. When we click uh, on our button, it will shrink and uh, show our second screen. Hello guys and uh, welcome back to my new video. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a button animation using a protopy. So I have created uh, this design in uh, Adobe XD already. And uh, now we're going to open uh, protopy and uh, start a new project. Just cl click uh, new pie. And then we're going to resize our uh, protopy interface window. Uh, just a little bit more. Okay, it's fine now. So first we are going to select our device iPhone X and we are going to uncheck this device frame. Uh, then we are going to import our uh, file or artboard from our, uh, our project and we will check this option. Then click import and as you can see we have successfully imported uh, our file. Uh, next we are going to center this, uh, this uh, done icon. On the, on the center of the button and we are going to change its opacity to 0 for now. So it's not visible at first. We will change that uh, afterwards. So next we are going to add a new uh, trigger which is tap trigger and we are going to select our button. Our button is a group, group of uh, login text and a rectangle and pink rectangle. So next uh, we are going to add uh, one new response which is uh, opacity. Uh, we are going to select our login text and we are going to set opacity to 0. Uh, duration will be set to 0 0.3 and uh, easing to sign, let's say. And when you click uh, our but uh, our uh, text login disappears. So the next um, response is uh, radius. Uh, we are going to change this uh, pink rectangle radius. Uh, we will set delay to 0 0.3. Uh, we will set uh, radius to 50, let's say and uh, duration to 0 0.6 so the next response is a scale uh, which is uh, uh, we're going to scale this pink rectangle uh, the height of this rectangle is 61 so we're going to set uh, width and height to uh, 61 we'll scale to uh, 61 width as well and duration will be set to 0 0.6 then uh, delay to 0 0.3 uh, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to set this origin to center of our rectangle. And uh, okay, so we forgot to uh, change this uh, uh, radius and scale uh, response to uh, to our uh, rectangle, pink rectangle, which is named uh, rectangle four. As you can see in our button group, it's uh, named rectangle four. And now we need to change it. Uh, that as well on our uh, scale uh, trigger and there you go now it should work well okay and the final thing we need to do um, we need to set uh, opacity of our done uh, or checked uh, icon uh, we're going to set um, this opacity uh, to 0 0.3 duration and uh, 0 0.9 uh, delay um, so we are going to uh, use our checked image, which we uh, used at the, uh, which we used uh, at first. So as you can see, it shows uh, right as we predicted. Uh, next, we are going to set uh, to create new scene, uh, which is uh, actually another screen. We are going to import our project here as well, but we are going to remove all those UI elements instead background. We will keep background and we are going to create a new text. Uh, this text will say uh, welcome back and uh, a username, which is my username, my YouTube uh, channel name, Steve Josan. And now we are going to set this text a little bit wider so uh, it can spread uh, on just one line. Okay. Uh, now. Now we are going to add one more response in our tap trigger on our uh, screen one. We are going to add the jump uh, response and we are going to set sc screen two um, animation or transition to slide in right to left 
and delay uh we need to set delay to uh, okay uh i forgot to set delay to 1.5 we need to switch jump delay to 1.5 and now it should work smoothly okay and that's it uh, we have successfully created our button login button animation in protopy again uh, thank you for watching my video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and of course if you like my content uh, you can even suggest me uh, what you want to see in my uh, next video and uh, that's it uh, thank you for watching again and see you in the next one